is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ukulai Espresso and welcome back to another video here today on the channel. We're in that zombies mode, we're having a ton of fun with all the information and everything to come out in the past 48 hours or so in terms of information for DLC 5 Zombies Chronicles and even just the storyline, the canon overall that was released yesterday. There is so much stuff to go over and so much cool stuff to take a look at. But in this one, I wanted to take a look at something that I saw over on Reddit by the user Dankslayer2001. It is an absolutely awesome theory and is really intriguing because it almost opens the door now for more things like this to happen in terms of explanations. As we've mentioned many many times before here up on the channel, there have been a handful of different map loading screens that have been changed around from their original versions in the past year or so. One of which, one of the more newer ones that have been changed around is the loading screen for Nocturne Toten. This one having some different changes in terms of scenery as well as even dates, but with the release of the canon storyline yesterday, we did get maybe some clarity here with it. Of course, it's still open to speculation because as with all of this, it's ambiguous. It's something that is not specifically stated in these loading screens, but looking at some of these dates, looking at some of the descriptions of the events that happened, they line up very well and really open the door to maybe seeing what if there's more like this hidden within the changed loading screens that we've already seen. So I'll toss up the original Nocturne Toten loading screen for you guys to check out, see that in reference to what we have right now, and then let's switch over to the changed Nocturne Toten loading screen. As you'll see, there's some date differences, firstly being that the changed one is 1914 on the left side instead of 1964, in the middle it's 1933 instead of 1959, and then 1941 instead of 1943 on the right side. As well as the imagery, the biggest parts being are the warehouses changed, the people coming through the portal are changed, and then the scientists are swapped out for the cryogen pods that we saw in Derizendrak. So where this becomes a piece of canon tie-in is whenever we take a look at the canon image once again, in the Dimension 63 category and that trail of the storyline, on July 4th of 1941, Richtofen returns to the lab under Al Alcatraz, where he meets Victus, which is the Green Run or Transit crew, arriving from the empty Earth. With the Cronorium, upon reading the Cronorium, Richtofen discovers numerous timelines documenting their fates and learns about the blood vials. He would later write on the page, I know now what I must do, ER 4741. So Edward Richtofen and the European date format of July 4th, 1941. So then Richtofen enters a rift to acquire the blood of Sal and Finn, and after delivering the blood to his younger self and recovering the blood vials belonging to Victus, he returns, and Victus is then placed on air quote ice to be kept safe until they are needed next. Now the following entry within this as well is that Primus arrives to collect the Victus blood vial samples from Richtof, and Primus being our origins for and the four that we follow around throughout Black Ops 3. Following Primus's departure, Richtofen learns the location of the summoning key and travels to his next destination. So, how does this then all tie in together with a Nocturne Toten loading screen? Because it's something that is once again ambiguous and may be deciphered and interpreted a little bit differently, but it still matches up almost perfectly to the imagery that we see thus far. So if you want to take it from the account of the second entry, Primus arrives to collect the Victus blood vial samples from Richtofen, that can match up with the bottom right teleportation image in the changed Nocturne Toten loading screen with the date once again matching up to 1941. And if you take a look at the original compared to the secondary, the changed version, you can see that there are four characters instead of one, and what even looks like the outlines of Primus, our original four. You can see the character on the right behind the darkest silhouette almost looks like Nikolai from the shape of his hat. Now additionally, the panel above it could indicate that Primus is retrieving the Victus blood vials from Zetsubo whenever they flash back there and meet up with crew, get the blood vials, because we see in the Easter egg that once they return after the easter egg is completed, every character has a filled blood vial. So that then creating the paradox, or setting up what we know at a later date as the paradox to keep them from disappearing into existence and keeping the cycle going, that could be that panel indicated there as well. But the second part of the two dates that we've mentioned, or the earlier one that we mentioned in the video, deals with once again Rick Toff from returning to the lab under Alcatraz, but the interesting part is the fact that after he meets up with Victus, the Transit or Green Run crew, they're later placed on ice to be kept safe until they are next needed. And that could potentially be dealing with the two panels in the middle, those being of the character 
characters shuffling whereas they were previously silent, and then the cryogen tubes at the very bottom. What other perfect way to describe being put on ice as than actually being cryogenically frozen to be kept safe until you're later needed? So, of course, this is once again a very ambiguous look at it, something that these still don't have any explicit meaning, any real explicit explanations to them, but with the dates that match up with this, with the imagery that matches up as well, it kind of looks like maybe one way could go like this. So perhaps this is in fact what this has been depicting ever since the changes that we saw back within the life cycle of Black Ops 3. Perhaps this is the imagery trying to be conveyed via the changes and the comic book as well. So that said, that's where we're going to wrap it up. I'd love to hear your thoughts down there in the comment section down below. Once again, there is no right or wrong answer with this. It's all interpretation. And a huge shout out once again to Dank Slayer 2001 over on Reddit. This post and theory caught my attention very greatly because I love looking at this kind of stuff that has never really been explained and the notion of perhaps the slightest explanation here and tie in with all the new stuff that we've gotten just absolutely fascinates me. So huge shout out to him for the theory and discovery of this and of course once again drop your thoughts down there in the comment section down below. What do you guys think? But wrapping all that up if you guys did enjoy the video make sure you drop a like down below. If you guys are new to the channel make sure you guys subscribe to stay up to date with everything we have here regarding Zombies Chronicles and DLC 5. We've got a ton of stuff coming still. We have so much stuff in the Zombies universe that just is mind-blowing to think about right now that we've gotten released in the past 48 hours. So, going to be continuing a lot of stuff here with this in relation to zombies up on the channel. But if you guys are interested in World War II, Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered, Infinite Warfare, and other Black Ops 3 stuff as well, make sure you guys subscribe to stay up to date with everything we have here regarding that. And of course, if you guys want to follow me over on Twitter, that is the best place to get connected with me here outside of YouTube. Practically live on Twitter, so if you guys want to strike up a conversation, ask me a question, whatever it may be, link is down there in the description below. But I will see you guys later. My name is Nicole Espresso. Thanks for watching. Take care and peace.